Welcome back to ESA Winter 21. I am Robo Sparkle and I'm bringing you yet more Super Mario 64 goodness. I say I'm bringing you. Uh, it's actually going to be Peking Vu who's doing the honours for us. Um, it's going to be running a 16 star. Um, so if you've got a bit of a deja vu, don't worry, this is on the dance pad. Uh, so um, yeah, this is going to be an absolutely uh, insane run. Um, just in case you thought we ran out of ways to absolutely obliterate Mario 64. Um, just before we begin, got a very quick couple of uh, couple of quick donations. Um, the Blind Wizard has donated $5. It says, in aid of the Swedish Alzheimer's Foundation. Uh, thank you very much for that. And uh, Mental Morphos has donated $10 with a message that says, love you all and everyone. And what a more wholesome beginning can we have. Um, Peking Vu, over to you. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, yet another Super Mario 64 speedrun. Um, just bear with me, I just realized one thing I forgot. You know, typical, typical pre-marathon stuff, as it always is. Um, so, yes, hello, you've just seen 16 Star, and now you're going to see 16 Star again. Uh, so the difference is that uh, I'm going to be, it, it, you know, it's, it's kind of like how, how Bubsy took away his eyes, um, and so he used his other senses. Uh, I am doing the same sort of thing, except I'm taking away my hands. Um, so we're going to use eyes and legs today, and uh, it's it's one of those things where you know where you do it like a, a talent show, and you know you've got your act all prepared and everything, and then someone goes on just before you, like you know what do you do to make things fresh? Uh, I don't really have an idea, so let's just uh, let's just see how we go. So we'll start our run in three, two, one, go. Okay, so. Mario 64 with dance pads. Uh, we're just going to jump straight into it, but I think... I think what we're going to do is we're going to... We'll, we'll go down a different path this time, and this is kind of going to be like a... I guess you could say quote-unquote tutorial on how to speedrun Super Mario 64. So instead of it being like a, uh, a, a... You know, me showing off my skills and what have you, I want to kind of go a different way and say, hey, if you've never speedrun a game before, and you've been interested in doing so, maybe this could be your gateway. Um, Super Mario 64 is one of those games that is very easy to, um, to get into, and it's one of those games that is also very easy to run, uh, but, you know, if you've never speedrun before, it can be a bit daunting. So, I don't know, with the input display below Mario, maybe we can actually just do some sort of tutorial. So the first thing we're going to try and do is Lakitu skip, which you just saw there. It looks super easy, but in order to make that work, you have to land on the left side of that bridge platform. If you go too far to the left, you fall in the water, and if you go too far to the right, you start the cutscene. But just like that, you can skip the Lakitu cutscene. Super, super simple. Next up, we have stage one, where we have to go and get the chain jump. We have to go and get the Chain Chomp Star, which usually involves uh, ground pounding on the pillar three times. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of people doing the bob -um clip, you know, where they do this fancy trick and all of a sudden, you know, they're clipped into the wall. Well, if that seems too hard and daunting, take this box, push it through the wall until you can see the bar like that, crouch, hold right, and look, you're inside. That's star number one. Okay. So, suddenly we have one star, we're one sixteenth of the way there, and doesn't that just seem super simple? So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be showing you guys how to do Super Mario 64 with pretty much any controller. Uh, so obviously with my controller, I don't have an analog stick, so things are going to be... Things are going to be a little different to what you do with a stick, but the general principle is the same. So... Like I said, if you've ever been interested in uh, speedrunning Super Mario 64, this is the perfect opportunity for you to learn. So we're going to run around, just grab a couple of stars. You can actually take a shortcut by triple jumping up this stairway onto this platform. And then boom, you're at the top exactly where, uh, where Womp is. And in future, if we mess it up, I'm going to show you a couple of other shortcuts you can take. Because the important thing about speedrunning is that if you mess up, it's just backups on backups. Also, 
as you saw with uh, with Womp there, every time he tries to face plant you, just ground pound in the air, and you go straight through him. So you can just you don't need to worry about running around him or anything like that. Okay. So we're in for another attempt. So you know what? Because I didn't mess up the first time, let's just say let's just say we mess up, right? And we need another way of getting up to the top here. So we run we run around here. We've messed up our timing. Oh no, we've slipped down. Everything's bad. Everything's bad. One thing a lot of runners kind of forget about or a lot of players forget about is that there's a warp here. Suddenly, one, two, three. You can triple jump up here instead. Put the camera in this position. You can wall jump straight onto this platform and climb the tower. Okie doke. So just like that, we give ourselves a little, a little extra height boost of uh, kicking up onto the platform, and suddenly we're at three stars. Great stuff. Great stuff. Next up, another super simple star. We're gonna try and go for the. We're gonna try and go for the swag wall jump, but if I mess it up, like I said, there's always backups. So we're gonna do a slide down here. We want to do a side flip, wall kick, and then hold up after doing that wall kick, and you get straight onto this platform and get that star. Easy every time. Now this next star is fully intended. There's pretty much no strategy to it, but... Well, okay, there's a little bit of strategy. So what we have to do... We have to climb this tree and get the owl. You've probably seen owlless, and you've probably wondered, where does owlless even come from? Well, there's actually an owl that, uh, that no one even knows exists, because it just sits there in that tree. When the star is at the bottom middle of the screen, just do a ground pound. Boom. Straight onto the star. And that's pretty much it for Womp's Fortress. It's, uh, it's probably where most runs go to die, so it's where you'll have the most practice. But, uh, but yeah, so while I go to the next stage, uh, if you have any donations, feel free to read them. Thank you very much. We do indeed have $5 from Just a Yoshi 2 who writes, With this going to such a great cause, I wish I could give more. Still, I hope it helps. Good luck to Peking Boo on his run and to all other runners as well. Um, yeah, do, no, no need to uh, apologize. It, thank you very much. Anything you can give is more than welcome. Okay. So, uh, rotate the camera to the right once, run to this tree, and then hold left. Do a jump. As soon as you see your shadow at the bottom, hold right. Kick about halfway down, and then go into Mario Cam twice to bring the camera down. Suddenly, you're at the very bottom of this area, and you can do a nice, simple triple jump. There's actually any, uh, a faster way of doing this, but this is the way we're doing it for now. And boom, there's wall kicks will work. So, another simple one. A lot of this stuff can be simplified down to just very basic movements. So even though, even though you see the pro speedrunners doing all of the crazy tech, a lot of it is just very simple setups to begin with. And then as you get better, you do better. Whoops! <laughs> that was me forgetting my forgetting my motions. Uh, so muscle memory also plays a big part of this. And uh, fun fact. I haven't done any practice of this game, and I haven't done any runs of this game in months. So that was me and my body forgetting exactly what to do. So hold right, as Mario... As Mario hits the slide, hold up. <laughs> Alright, let's go one more try. Like, now that I'm in my own head, I'm like, wait, how does this work again? <laughs> That's the thing with tutorials. You got you got to you got to tell them what happens if it goes wrong. Yeah, you really do. And unfortunately, when there's no floor, uh, everything goes wrong. Okay, here we go. This time. So as soon as you hit the slide, hold right, and then as soon as you fall off the slide, hold up. Dive onto that slide, and then dive just before landing on this slide. Suddenly Mario is going backwards, and that's the hardest part of the stage right there. Is just making sure you stay on that thin platform. Now all you have to do here is just hold down left and long jump and then while you're in the air hold left. Boom. So <laughs> it took a couple of lives but there we go. I feel like I needed to say that I haven't practiced this so that, you know, <laughs> it at least makes sense 
as to why suddenly my confidence is leaving uh, everything. Alright, so... Hi, it's the penguin. We're gonna grab this dude. And this trick looks really hard, but actually, grabbing the penguin's harder. <laughs> okay, awesome. Let's, uh, let's, let's not grab the penguin. The penguin doesn't want to be grabbed. So, what are we going to do instead then? Well, I'm actually trying to think of what else we have in this stage that we can do. We... We are going to go down to the bottom and we're going to try again. Even if it kills me. Ooh, camera change. Thank you for that. I think, I think this is a tutorial learning moment. You know, what happens if you just fall down and you miss the penguin? How do you get back up? Yeah. Don't worry, this is fine. What, what is my estimate for this again? It's 25 minutes, right? Yeah, 25. I think it's... Yeah, okay, awesome. I'm glad I gave myself that leeway. Mario, get up. Okay, so the penguin, right? What we want to do is line ourselves up with this corner and just jump to the right. As soon as you start sliding, just go neutral. And then hold upright. And tap, r ah! tap right just a tiny bit. Tap right just a tiny bit so that you clear the wall and boom. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens. It's all great. <laughs> no panic baskets here, just baskets. Okay. Awesome. So that is star number eight. Is there I say something, you're the very picture here? of Carmen in control. <laughs> yes, exactly right. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure that's everything that we get from here. Uh, I could be wrong. See, the other thing as well is that uh, I actually forgot to put my splits up. So, uh, I remember like the first part and the last part, but I don't really remember the middle because it kind of all just happens. So, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> here we go. The, you know, I'm starting to realize that this is fast becoming a uh, like a, a drunk speedrun instead of a, a tutorial speedrun. But hey, you know, whatever works, right? Hey, so, you know, get, getting, getting in that late night spirit. Oh, well, in my case, I've actually just woken up, so I guess that doesn't help. It, like, I've just woken up and now I'm, I, I'm in the exam and I'm doing, I'm doing amazingly. You are doing amazingly. <laughs> oh, so, it's way, way better than I could do with my feet. <laughs> or with my hands, to be honest. Um, so, this stage is mostly a side-scroller. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty much just doing my, my ups and my, my lefts and my rights and all that jazz. Oh my goodness, what are you doing, Mario? You can actually triple jump this slope if you time it correctly. Uh, timing correctly is something that we're not doing the first time, but it's definitely something that uh, we'll get eventually. Now, so there wasn't really a whole lot there, and luckily we got the Bowser dance, so that's great. Now, you know, I really shouldn't do this, because this is kind of a dance pad thing, but you gotta rotate your control stick, like so. This is how you spin Bowser. But uh, if you have trouble spinning Bowser, you don't have to actually spin him that fast here. And you can also just hold a direction and it holds onto the momentum for you so that you can just focus on actually aiming once he's spinning. So, boom. I missed! Because I was spinning him too fast. Okay, so let's try again. We'll go around behind Bowser. Let's spin him a bit slower this time. There we go, that's so much nicer, don't you think? Yeah. Suddenly we have a lot more control. And uh, if you have any donations or messages, feel free to read them. <laughs> I'll try and gain my composure real quick. Absolutely. Maybe look up my um, splits. All right, you got you got minute minute your cutscene coming up. So um, we have a five dollar donation from uh, Tapalux Store, if I've pronounced that correctly. Um, but thank you very much for the donation. It says thanks for the prime entertainment and good luck to all the runners. See, prime entertainment, that's the key thing. Um, we have a ten dollar anonymous donation. Thank you very much for that. Just put that towards um, the astral dive suit for control. And Nev Flynn has donated $5 and says, I'm sad, I can't remind this guy to stand up and stretch every 15 minutes. <laughs> you, you're doing your stretches, mate. I'm, I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying my best at the moment. Excellent. Thanks very much for the donations, guys. Okay, so now we're in the basement and I'm sure it's only going to get better from here. We're going to go into Hazy Maze Cave first and the reason for that is because there's a lot of very easy stars here. And we also need to end up as close to Mips the Rabbit as possible by the end. So I'm pretty sure I have all the stars that I need. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. The first thing we're going to do is go over to Watch for Rolling Rocks. 
which I'm pretty sure I actually don't do first. I just freaked out and I needed to have a quick getaway. So, you know, go right in front of you. When you get into this area, run to the right, <clears throat> sorry, run to the right, side flip to the left, and boom, wall kick straight up. If you line it up right, you actually hit the star perfectly. But hey, you know, we're not doing things perfectly today. We're doing, we're doing a lesson. This is how you learn. You have to learn from mistakes. All right. So star number nine is down, and now we have a bunch of cool clips that are very easy to do. The thing about clipping into objects is that it looks very intimidating, but it's actually super easy. So you see a lot of speedrunners do like wall kicks off that first wall that I just skipped. An easier thing to do is to go to this wall, side flip, and kick here. You actually clip right up onto this platform, and what we want to do is we want to get onto that platform over there. So you can either wait for the camera like I just did. I don't normally, but I just wanted to explain. And you can long jump straight over. It's not as fast as the speed strats, but like I said, this is your tutorial on how to get started. Not everything is going to be perfect or correct, but it will potentially guarantee a time underestimate, potentially. Okie doke. So now we have a couple of the interesting clips. Well, I shouldn't say interesting. I should say easy. Um, you know what, let's just say clips. So jump on this platform, jump back, and then run against this dark patch on the right, and boom, the elevator pushes you straight under. I know that it looks super, super impressive or difficult, but actually all you have to do is push against that wall and you will get pushed under. Um, but the further to the right you are, the more likely it is to happen. So yeah, we're going to do that one more time. I, uh, I, I missed it the first time. A yeah, true, a exactly true right. tutorial. <laughs> so let's, yes, let's put all of those steps into motion one more time, okay? So we're going to jump onto the platform. We're going to jump backwards once the ceiling disappears and then hold up against that dark patch and boom. We're now going to improvise this a little bit more and jump over to the left. Do I even do this in 16 star? I think I do. We're going to get on the... We're going to get on the third block here, I think it is. Do a double jump and then kick off the wall while holding down and we actually land on the button. Normally we need the metal cap for that, but we don't need no metal cap here. We're, we're done with this area. Whew. Okay. And with that, it gives us 12 stars. Did you know that it's actually easy to get a star from Toad instead of doing a stage? That makes things a lot easier. Suddenly, instead of exerting skill and doing all of that other stuff, you just grab this one. So we're at Damn, start number 13. Like toad there. <laughs> I wish it was, but I actually forgot my setup. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we're going to go over to... Uh, shifting Sandland. I was thinking Shifting Snowland, but that's not right. It's shifting and so first much, one we're going to do... Sand. <laughs> So see this dark patch just above Mario here. We're going to do a double jump, and then on our third jump, we're going to hit the slope. Just like that, you see? If you time it wrong, try it again. And then do a dive at the top. Oh boy! And save yourself, obviously, because, you know, as a pro gamer, you have to make sure that you can save yourself. Uh, but, but it's just a case of doing that triple jump one more time up the pyramid. And there it is. Now, this next one, <laughs> this next one's going to take a bit to explain. Uh, so I'm just going to try and explain it while I do it. So double jump up here. Slide and hold up. You've got a bit of speed. Long jump. Miss the fly guy because you're a pro gamer. And then go over to the pillar because what we were trying to do was a fly guy hop and it definitely did not work out. So now we have to try and recoup our losses and go over to this pillar here where the 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 klepto currently is and then the, boom there you go that's the strategy awesome I'm, I'm glad that worked out exactly as intended fantastic and hey with that we have 15 stars we only need one more and then the run's over uh right yeah yeah that's it get 16 stars <laughs> um press stop on the timer i think that's how it works yeah so i think i got one runner. yeah i got one star extra because i was supposed to actually come out here um but now that we have 15 stars uh, look, there's a rabbit. We're going to chase it up this way. And we're going to let it jump into our hands. 
you know, why, why do all the hard work when it can do the hard work for us? Now, important, do not get this star, otherwise you'll end up with 17. All right, now take a look at the... Take a look at the double shadow we've got going on here, okay? So in order to do this, line up your camera so that you are in front of the door, okay? And then hold up, and Mario is slowly going to move over to the right. Now look at Mips's shadow in front of Mario's. You'll see as you get closer to the edge, eventually it disappears. See? It's gone. All you do here is crouch. Boom. And then you turn around to face Mips. And then grab. Now hold down toward the door and jump. Super simple. That's that's all that trick is. You can slow it down as much as you want just to make it as easy as possible. And, uh, well, don't do this. This is a bad thing to do, but you can just pick him up again. It's fine. And he, he, I'll, he explain what, fine. <laughs> I'll explain what happens in just a sec, but we're going to do the exact same thing here, except this door is a lot easier to get through. So what happens is when you crouch, it skips the uh, the dropping of the object animation. It pushes Mips into the wall. The wall pushes Mips behind you, which then pushes you into the wall. And because it all happens at the same time, uh, I guess it doesn't do a collision check for you, and you end up inside the wall. So then you turn around while you're in the wall, you grab Mips, and bring both of you through. And that's all it is. Uh, so we did that twice in order to get into the Bowser door as well. And, uh, and here we are, we're doing the submarine now, so this run is, is almost done, and man, I, I, I don't know what to say about this, I got my, I, I didn't have my splits up, you know, it's like, it's like when you, you uh, come into a lecture, you're about to give a lecture, but you didn't, like, give any talking points at all about what you were going to discuss, so you're just kind of going off the cuff, and then you reach the end of the run and you realize, oh, that's right, I forgot my introduction, people don't even know what this is about. But hey, that's the submarine star. So, Bowser in the Fire Sea is a side-scroller. Long jump off the cage, long jump off the block. Bounce, bounce. When you hit the floor, go down right a tiny bit to collect two coins. That way, if you hit the lava again, you won't die. Do a little lava bounce there, and you can get straight up here. When you reach, when your head just peeks through that gap at the top, you can jump across. And now we're racing the one up. So let's see how far ahead of it we can get. It's very important to dodge the one up, otherwise you lose the game. That's just the rules, I don't make them, but uh, it's getting awfully close. As soon as we hit the slope of the ramp, do a double, triple long jump actually. I've gone too slow, it's, it's, it's over for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Uh, oh well, it, no, it happens. The safety. Oh, it happens. Oh, you hate to see it. <laughs> anyway, that's just a bit of fun that we can have, and now we're into the boss fight. Uh, Bowser 2 is uh, is kind of interesting because he starts off with a big jump. All you got to do, C left, C down, run to the right, and then kind of do a, a half turn around him. And then just as the platform stops shaking, you want to grab his tail. Hey, that's... Okay, fine. Uh, so apparently Bowser um, has put on a few pounds, so he didn't go as far as I thought he would. So, here's our backup strat. Crouch next to a bomb, backflip when he runs at you, grab his tail, drop him. Ta-da! <laughs> like I said, let them do the work. You know, we're, we're here to speedrun, uh, which means that, well, I mean, it's supposed to be us doing stuff, but just let them do stuff. It's, you know, if the less we do, the faster we go, I suppose. And hey, look at that 16 star. Uh, that's that's the run, right? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank Whoa, you. Record. Thank you. All right. So you're actually stuck in this area now. If you try to go back through this door, it says, "Oh, you need 30 stars." Stupid. Uh, so so yeah, you're you're kind of stuck here, and that's the whole reason why we go into this stage. Because if you exit course, you go back to the lobby and completely bypass that whole thing. But now we're doing backward long jumps. And I know what a lot of you are thinking. I can't do backward long jumps. Backward long jumps are too fast. I can't mash that fast. Well, what if I told you that it wasn't actually a speed, it was a rhythm? Yeah, it might still be a bit hard. But take a look at Mario when he goes down these steps. See how sometimes he's on top and sometimes he kind of clips in a little bit? Like, it looks a bit, a, a bit janky. 
So when you do your backwards long jump, you kind of want Mario to be inside the step as you do it. And then it doesn't really matter, whoops, it doesn't really matter about your speed all that much. Kind of like that. It's, uh, it's definitely something you need a feel for. So you can see I kind of got there, but I didn't have enough speed. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can do the, uh, the Bubsia strats of just waiting at the door and hoping it opens for me. And thankfully that paid off. Like, look at that. Did that really look like I built up much speed at all? Truth be told, I wasn't expecting to get in. But hey, the, the game threw us a bone. So super, super simple there. We're going to do the exact same thing here. This stairway is actually easier than the first because you can just go forever. So if you see yourself bouncing on top of the step all the time, just slow down, uh, sorry, just delay your movement a tiny bit until you see yourself kind of in. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. Why are you doing this to me, dude? And you know, sometimes you have to reason with him just a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a lot of yahoos, though. Yeah, yeah, you definitely got your money's worth there. Uh, all right, so yeah, just like that, we are in. We are in the final stage. Wait, Chad is saying I have one minute left. Have I really been flunking that hard? Okay, all right, we got one minute. Let's go. I don't know if we can do it in time. <laughs> uh, one minute's plenty. Okay, so fun fact: if you hold the jump button and kick. You can actually kick up slopes, just like that. So if you find that your triple jump doesn't quite make it, there's your backup. All right, we'll get some well-timed jumping here, which I didn't time well. So now we'll do the, the backup strat of waiting for the conveyor belt. I know you guys love waiting. Oh, we love okay. backup strats. These are the best parts of tutorials. <laughs> Okay, welcome to my tutorial where we only teach backup strats. Okay, so when you get when you triple jump or double jump up here and you hit the flagpole, you probably notice that you don't grab onto it. If that's the case, you can either mash B, which will make you grab the, the pole immediately, well, sometimes, or you can just do what I did and just walk down a little bit and then double jump and grab the flag a bit higher up. Anyway, that's all the explaining out of the way. Let's fight Bowser. So we'll get up here, triple jump into the pipe like we know what we're doing. We have 16 stars, we have two lives. Everything's going great. So, C right, C down, and run directly down. Now, if we're lucky, Bowser will run at us straight away, but it is a 50-50 chance if he does or not. So, unfortunately, this part's RNG, but... This is also the easiest way to kill Bowser. So as soon as he reaches you, backflip, pick him up, put him down, run to the next bomb. And you know, if you're someone like me that does not like Bowser spins, this is a great way to save a lot of time. But it also makes you run more RNG heavy, so sometimes it just costs you a lot of time. Now before Bowser gets up on the third one, you see that suddenly we can't run to the bombs anymore. So we have to muster up all of our strength and hopefully throw him to the top left. And because we're good gamers, we definitely did it first try, right? And time is coming up when we grab the star. Oh boy, here it is. I've gone over estimate, haven't I? <laughs> oh, I mean, what, what is an estimate, time. really? <laughs> all right, there we go, GG. You do, man. There that was we go. An absolutely fantastic tutorial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think that was it a sure was, wasn't it? Stress. That was that was, <laughs> that was amazing though, and yeah, you know, like I say, it's it's so difficult uh, kind of doing it with that with no hands. But yeah, that's a nice I mean, exercise as well. The, the, yeah, the, I guess the the one thing I did want to to say from all this is that like it's it's such an easy run to get into that you know you you can do it with dance pads you can do it blindfold. I just realized I forgot to do cannonless. That was the one star I forgot to do. Um, um, you guys don't need to worry about cannonless. You've got 
you know, we already that's, saw it. That's, that, <laughs> yes, that's right. You guys already saw it. So naturally, I had to give you guys all the backup strats that you didn't see. Um, yeah. Well, thank you guys for having me. I, uh, I appreciate it. And uh, I'll be back later in the week for Celeste with Dance Pads. Um, so look forward to that as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Peking Boo. That was uh, absolutely just really, really great. And yeah, like I say, if you if you get bored of doing things with a controller, then Sonic Dance Pads, get some get some exercise, exercising gamers. It's it's the new future. <laughs> um, we do have a couple of don um, donations. We've got an anonymous, uh, I, I, might, I, might, I might read words properly. We've got an anonymous $50 donation. So uh, with no comments, but thank you so much for that. Uh, absolutely amazing. We've also got a $5 donation from Valak Saimu. Apologies if I've butchered your name. Uh, which says, must donate for my favourite CTR runner and for the character that represents the best skip in the game. So go Tiny! And that is for Tiny for um, one of our upcoming runs, Crash Team Racing, which is uh, coming up shortly after Hades, which will be our next run. Which I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, any final comments, shout outs, anything peek and boo before we uh, head on to intermission? Um, uh, I mean, if, if you guys are interested in more dance pad speedrunning, uh, yeah, like I said, we've got Celeste in this event later on in the week. Uh, but uh, if you want to see more dance pad speedruns that I do, uh, I do a variety of games on my channel at twitch.tv slash peeking uh, So that's where you can find me, but otherwise enjoy the rest of the marathon. Fantastic, thanks very much. So yeah, uh, uh, this is the end of my shift, so I'll be leaving you, and when we come back after intermission, uh, you will be joined by the amazing Nashlax as your donation reader. Um, and Medicasts will be gracing us with a Hades speedrun, so uh, look forward to that. Uh, don't go anywhere, unless it's just to get a cup of tea and then come back. Bye. <laughs>